Over the last 10 years, real estate in Germany went This year, the market cooled down significantly, so real estate was more like Which begs the question, what's gonna happen to German real estate in 2023? If you think the entire market is gonna tank and the real estate bubble is gonna pop, you may be over speculating. Here are six reasons why property prices in Germany will rise in 2023 in this German real dot estate blog. Reason one, construction backlog. Looking into the future is always a little bit of a glass ball. So it helps to have data from the past and to make assumptions because of that. Germany wants and Germany needs 400,000 new flats every single year in order to satisfy the demand of living space. That's at least the number the government published earlier this year, claiming that this is the most important goal. Great job, government! If we're looking at the data over the last 20 years, how often did we reach 400,000 new flats? Oh, never! What a surprise! How often did we reach 300,000? Once! Great! Germany is missing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of flats just to satisfy the demand. And projections are that we will not construct 300,000 flats this year either. So how are property prices supposed to fall if we cannot even satisfy the demand? Reason 2 is also the reason why we will probably not finish 300,000 flats this year. There are also projections for 250 or just 200,000 flats. Inflation of construction prices. We don't need to talk about inflation here, do we? You guys know as well as I do that everything has become more expensive over the last few months. But what about construction prices? The last official numbers we found from our federal statistical office shows that construction inflation is way higher than regular inflation. While the overall inflation is currently around 10%, construction prices are at 16.5% inflation. Especially wood prices and steel prices have become extremely expensive, up almost 30% compared to last year. When the costs to build new properties or to renovate existing properties increase by 16.5%, how are property prices supposed to fall in the same time? That's what I asked Tobias from the German property developer Five Rocks, and he gave us reason 3 for rising property prices. Constructions are getting cancelled left and right. Five Rocks has solid calculations and risk management. That's why we continue to work with them and help them fund their projects by offering you guys a stake in their developments. Check out our German Real Dot Estate Marketplace if you're interested. But not every property developer is doing a good business like Five Rocks does. Increased costs to build because of inflation and higher costs to finance because of the increased interest rates are wiping out a significant amount of property developers. The IFO Institute publishes a construction cancellation index every month showing us how severe the issue really is. In August, the cancellation rate of property developments was at 11.6%. In September, it was at 16.7%. Staggering numbers! I mean, look at the increase in 2022 from maybe 2-3% before. And you know what that means, don't you? Each cancelled construction of today is the property price increase of tomorrow. And to make things even worse from a supply and demand perspective, the German population will grow. So just satisfying the demand for living space today is not gonna cut it. The German population is as of right now at an all-time high of more than 83 million people. And we are getting more and more people by the day thanks to migration to Germany. Last year about 1 million people moved out of Germany and about 1.3 million people moved to Germany. A net population increase of about 300,000 people. Those are rookie numbers compared to this year and next year. Our federal office for migration published that so far more than 1 million people migrated from Ukraine alone. Not total migration to Germany, just migration from Ukraine. And some projections say that another 1.4 million people might migrate from Ukraine to Germany next year. And let me tell you a secret about migration. All these people migrating to Germany need to live somewhere. So if we're not constructing enough properties to satisfy the demand from the existing population and more people are migrating to Germany, again, 
how are property prices supposed to fall significantly over the long term. Of course, some properties somewhere will always lose value, but we're talking about the German real estate market as a whole here not the exception of the rule. These four points that we discussed so far are no secret, right? Everybody who rents or wants to buy a property knows that buying prices and rent prices have gone through the roof. So you might be wondering, what is the German government doing about this? Well, let me tell you, reason five for increasing property prices in 2023, increased bureaucracy. This is our Chancellor Olaf, with the German building minister Clara introducing the Alliance for Affordable Housing. Wow, sounds powerful, right? It's not nearly as cool as it sounds. All they have done so far is met and met and met again, wasting our hard-earned tax money in the process. To introduce a list with almost 200 points that should normalize the property prices and rent prices here in Germany. That's at least their side of the story. If you actually look at the paper, everyone can download it online for free by the way, it becomes quite obvious that this is not going to solve our housing problem in the slightest. All it does is to introduce more bureaucracy for climate reasons or for social reasons. Those are important issues, don't get me wrong, but the solution the government proposes is no solution. Increased bureaucracy will decrease investments in the real estate industry. And that brings me to my final point six, why property prices in Germany will rise in 2023. The government tries to solve issues that only the market can resolve. The law of supply and demand that has been proven right and right again for hundreds of years. This simple economic principle that has led to the great world that we are living in with incredible riches. And I can guarantee you, which should mean a lot to you because usually I don't make any guarantees. If we would allow supply and demand to come together in the German real estate market by itself, by market economics and not by forced government solutions, the market would find a solution. The government didn't. We've tried it over the last plus 10 years and the housing problem just got worse and worse. And that is what we are trying to do with German real dot estate bringing market economics back into the German real estate market while giving you guys the chance to make a nice return for yourself. It's in your guys' best interest to make a return for yourself. And that will also help the German real estate market. That is what Adam Smith discovered more than 200 years ago and our government is still not smart enough to learn from this man. So rather follow data and your own best interest than believing in political ideology from people who claim to act for the public good.